Welcome to House Rules, real estate in Sin City. I'm Jeff Zaylor with Zaylor Properties, and today I've got Jason Schifrin, one of our agents, who also used to work as a new home builder, uh, a new home builder rep. Um, Jason, we we you know we work with a lot of builders and, and a lot of new home buyers uh, that kind of have a, a misconception of what we really do to help with with new build. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. And in in your past life, when you were working in that that realm, you dealt with people that would walk in without a, a, an agent and people who'd walk in with an agent, right? A- absolutely. Right. Yep. So we got a little game. We're going to call it. It's going to call Factor Fiction. Um, I'm going to go through a couple points as a buyer, and Jason's going to basically say whether it's Factor Fiction. Sound good? Works for me. Okay. Cool. So number one. As a buyer, I, I'm going to definitely get a better deal or more incentives if I just come in by myself without an agent, correct? That's going to be fiction. And we get that a lot in, in new homes. Uh, a lot of buyers think, oh, I don't have an agent, therefore the builder is saving on the commission that they would pay the agent. Um, just keep in mind that the builders have already allotted for all of the commissions. If every home sold in that community had representation... The money's actually coming, you in most cases, from a different fund, not actually a percentage of the home sale. It comes from a marketing fund. It's considered marketing dollars okay. getting those agents in. On top of that, remember this as well, that the only people who can receive a commission in, in uh, the state of Nevada is a licensed representative. Right. And it's actually technically a licensed broker, right? It's actually yeah. technically a licensed broker. Okay. That's okay. correct. Cool. Okay. So... I'm a buyer. We actually get through that contract. I either have an agent or I don't. I, I have an agent because that's what we're talking about here. Um, but as a buyer, I, I can have a third-party home inspector do a home inspection, correct? That's fact. Okay. You can 100% have a third-party inspector and definitely speak to your real estate agent about how to go about doing this. Um, let your real estate agent know pretty early on into the process, even though it does take about five, six months to build a home from, from scratch here in, in Nevada. Um, let, let your agent know early on in the process that this is something you wish to do as the builder is going to have to essentially vet your inspector, essentially just making sure that they're licensed and, and bonded for enough money uh, before they let somebody you know poke and prod around their home. Okay, perfect. Now, the third one that we get all the time, especially when we have our buyers maybe go look at a home community before they talk to us, is, is as a buyer, I, I can use any lender I want, correct? Absolutely. That, that's going to be a fact. As a buyer, you can use any lender you want. And in fact, I would recommend shopping around for the best lender for you. The builder is going to throw something fancy in front of your face like, oh, use my lender and I'll pay for your closing costs. That's great. But remember, there's no such thing as free money. Yep. That money's going to have to be paid for somewhere. And usually you might have a slightly higher interest rate to have the closing costs paid for. Okay. So you might have to pay your closing costs up front, but going with ABC lender down the street, you might have a, a lower principal f- over the 30 years of your mortgage. Right, but you could also refinance if you ever wanted to, right? If, Absolutely. The, if the deal with the, the lender from the builder is great. Absolutely. Okay. Just, just remember you can always shop around just because you're buying DEF builder's home, you do not have to use DEF lend, uh, builder's lender. Now, if as a buyer, if I go with the builder's lender, I can still have an agent, correct? 100%. Okay, okay good. Okay. Now, um, so we'll pretend, you know, we've been talking about me being a buyer. So now I'm a buyer's agent and you're, you're a new home rep. So would you, ra- would you as a new home rep rather negotiate directly with uh, a, an agent or with a buyer directly knowing that the buyer doesn't have an agent breathing down their neck? So uh, we're going to say fact for that one. Okay. Um, as, a, as a new home rep, I'm going to be more inclined to negotiate with a real estate agent Why? than I am with the buyer. Uh, very simply, uh, that this is a relationship business, as, as you and I both know. Yep. Um, I'm going to want to have a relationship with as many agents as I possibly can because those agents, that's my bread and butter. Um, I, I'm putting food on my table and a roof over my head because of my relationship with my agents long term, not so much my buyer short term. Yeah. When you're a new home rep, you see your buyer maybe a little bit after the transaction. They go on with their lives. They live in their home. Then after a while, they and don't. You probably go to a different community, and and you go to and the and the, the the builder rep goes to a different community. Of course, in time after the community sells out, even sometimes before it sells out. Yeah. Um, but that agent, I'm going to have a relationship with that agent for a very long time. And whether that agent will bring me a a buyer the next day or five years later. Mm-hmm. 
we're going to both remember our experience with each other. And look, I, I know personally when I've done new business, uh, new home business, I uh, there's been some new home reps that I've really got along with. Mm-hmm. Others that I didn't, but I, it's probably a very similar ratio to, to resale agents. There's of agents I get along with. There's agents that I'm just glad to never see again potentially. Right. So uh, were there any agents when you were in the new home build that you did multiple deals with? Absolutely. Okay. Um, it, you know, even, even in resale, there's, yeah. like you said, just sometimes when, when you put two agents together and they and they actually both know what they're doing, um, it's it, the hard part. Here. It's the hard part. Yeah. It's, um, it you know it's a very smooth transaction and you're almost like a little sad when the transaction ends that you can't work with somebody who's like minded uh, like yourself. Okay. Great. So going back now, I'm, re- I'm going back to I'm the buyer now. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, so Jason, I love this community. I love everything. We've signed a contract. Um, I hate your flooring. Okay, I hate your flooring. I'm sorry. I've got this really cool Moroccan tile that's coming in, and I've got an amazing, amazing installer that's going to come in from Tahiti to install it for me. Okay, can they come in and do that before we own the house? That way, I can just move in right away. So that one's going to be fiction, and I got this question a lot. Okay. Um, another variation of your question is, oh, just give me bare floors. Uh, just remember this: the builder has their vendors that they work with. They have contracts with these vendors. And remember, at the end of the day, the home is not yours until the home is yours. So you cannot do any work on the home. Prior to you moving in, you cannot bring any of your own vendors in. Only the builder can bring the vendors in because it's the builder's home. That's a good point. Like it, it, you know, you always think about it. Well, they're building it for you, but until it until it's yours, it's yours. I get it. It sounds like it's elementary, but it's it's kind of the truth, it, right? It, it's true. And look, and it's very common. It's okay. a very common question. Great. Okay, so the last point I got for you, Jason. Again, I appreciate your time. Is, is I, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm a buyer again, right? Mm-hmm. So, and you're you're the builder rep, aka the builder. The builder is is definitely. Uh, accepting and kind of understands that they're going to be able to basically pay a buyer's agent to watch out for the buyer's best interest. Yeah, so this one over here is going to be a fact again. Uh, Perhaps it's the best kept or worst kept secret of new builds, depending on how you look at it. Uh, As I mentioned earlier, the builder has already allotted the commissions for every home in that community, knowing that some will have an agent and some won't have an agent. Mm -hmm. So if you go in with an agent, the seller or the builder in this case is paying your agent to work for you. Knowing that, Jeff, why would you go to a new home site without your representation? That, well, look, I trust me, I, I get it. And we, in going back to now, you and me as as resale agents, we have agent, we have clients that are constantly talking to us about new builds. I think I looked at the numbers. I think uh, that our small team has done twelve new builds already this year. So um, we, you know, with your with your background and in, in just our general knowledge of the, of this business. You know, we like we like the new builds. We understand. We, we kind of know what some of the builders are offering. Mm-hmm. We know what a builder product is. And again, we're not going to talk about any builder specifically because we know there are some that are different than others. I'm not going to say better or worse. They're just different. But um, yeah, it's you know, it's it's an important thing. Now, is there any way that if I as a buyer go into a new community, do I need to have my my agent there the first time? I know everybody talks about that. What's the real deal? Come on, you, you're not telling us where you used to work for, but would uh, you as, so, a, as a builder kind of play along? Listen, like I mentioned earlier, this is a relationship-based business. If you're not in with your agent on the first time, we get it. You're driving down the street. You're driving down and you see a sign, home I'm looking for in my price range, make left here. You make left there. You call your agent, but it's a Sunday afternoon. Your agent can't just drop everything. Just let the new home agent, no. I have an agent, he or she was not able to be here today because I just passed you on the street. I'd be shocked if the new home rep was like, well, then they can't rep you. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good to know. It's also important for us to educate our clients. Like, hey, you can definitely go. Just just have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Have a stack of your business cards. Exactly, I always always give my cards to to my clients. Say, if you're driving around and you see a new home site, Hand my card to the builder. Odds are I know the person there anyway. Perfect. Well, look, Jay, I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, if you are looking for new home construction specifically, as I said, Zaylor Properties has plenty of experience. My my father was a home builder. Jason spent a couple years working for a builder in town. We've done, as I said, 12 deals so far this year already, and we've done plenty in the past with 
most of the big builders here in town, some of the smaller ones too. So if you have any questions, please get a hold of us. We can definitely, myself, Jason, anybody in our team can help you with the new home build. Appreciate your time, Jason. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, that's it for this week. It is, again, House Rules, Real Estate in Sin City. Jeff Zaylor, Zaylor Properties. Until next time, take care.